Honolulu City Council member Kimberly Pine was at the official opening of the Kamakana Ali'i Farmers Market in October. So we asked, how did she get into politics and why? Her answers might surprise you. My name is Kimberly Marcos Pine and I represent the Leeward Coast on the Honolulu City Council. So I represent from Eva Beach all the way to Waianae, including Kapolei where this mall is. The opening of Kamakana Alili finally signified us as a second city. This was the job center that we were waiting for to establish us as a true second area in Honolulu where people can live, work, and play. There's going to be over 6,000 jobs associated with this particular mall, and they've hired mostly local residents from the area. So people who used to drive all the way to Ala Moana or to Pearl City are now saying that for the first time in their lives, they're having dinner with their spouses, or they're just waking up and it's not dark anymore. It's their sun, they can see the sun. So this has been a life changer for many Leeward Coast residents. What's so special about this particular mall is that every dollar that you spend here is reinvested into the native Hawaiian community who owns this land, who are the stewards of this land. So it could go to building more affordable homes for families. It could go to build um, cultural sites and protections of cultural areas. So really, a lot of the money is going to go back into the community. Well, what's fabulous about this place? These are all local people. This is mom and dad, your sister and your brother that are growing organic produce or they're making things from home and if you really want to have that unique gift or make that special dinner for your family for the holidays, this is the place to come. We definitely want to uh, thank DeBartolo. Uh, I've been working that with them for over 12 years when we first started talking about this concept where we allow them to use Native Hawaiian land in exchange for giving back to the community. There's going to be over a billion dollars given back to the, this very community in this area. So they really took a risk during a very difficult time in the market when they first started doing this 12 years ago. Well, I grew up on the North Shore and I went to Sunset Beach Elementary School as well as Wailua High School and eventually graduated at Moanalo High School. So I'm both a townie and a country girl. I went to UC Berkeley and I majored in English and I minored in a, with journalism emphasis to be a broadcast journalist. And that is how I started my career. But like every other citizen out there, I was mad at my government. And I was stuck in Fort River Road, um, gosh, 16 years ago for 45 minutes, seven days a week. And I said, someone's not taking care of us. So I spontaneously ran for office, just hoping that I would make the incumbent more accountable and help us more with the traffic problems. And I surprisingly won by a landslide and found myself as a politician. I found that you don't have to go to any schooling, uh, type of schooling to be a politician or a leader. You just have to love and your community and be willing to do what it takes to fight for your community and that's what makes you a good leader. Well, I think the biggest challenge is you are constantly criticized. So I do not recommend this business if you constantly need to be praised. But if, if you're like me and you don't care what people say and you just have a vision to do good things for, for people and you want to serve others, this is going to be the job for you. Um, I have a lot of people that want me to run for Congress, for mayor, for lieutenant governor, governor, you name it, but I just w um, was thankfully re-elected to the Honolulu City Council for four years, so I know that's what I'm going to do for four years. I'm thrilled and I'm excited to continue to serve the Leeward residents. I'm Council Member Kimberly Marcos Pine, just wishing all of you a wonderful holiday season. Remember, the best way to enjoy the holidays is to serve others. You'll be surprised how you'll truly feel the holiday spirit when you do that. I wish all of you a safe and happy and wonderful holiday season. Mahalo and aloha.